topic for today is about finding the nature of the roots of a quadratic equations. And in this video, you will learn how to characterize the roots of a quadratic equation using the discriminant. We already know how to get the roots or solution of a quadratic equation. This time, we're going to characterize or describe the roots of our equation. And we will be using, we will be using the discriminant. What is a discriminant? A discriminant is used to determine the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. So, in finding the discriminant, we have to follow the formula. The formula in finding the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Sounds familiar, right? So, this um, equation comes from the quadratic formula. Remember, dun sa loob ng radical sign ng quadratic formula, ganito rin yung makikita ninyo, b squared minus 4ac. So, dito naman sa pag describe ng roots ng ating quadratic equation, ito yung ginagamit natin na formula or ito yung discriminant. After natin makuha yung discriminant, ito na yung mga possible nature of our roots. If in case ang nakuha natin discriminant is zero, ang nature ng roots natin ay real and equal. Kapag naman greater than 0 at perfect square, so ibig sabihin mga positive numbers na perfect square, ang nature ng roots natin, rational and unequal. Kapag naman positive numbers or greater than 0 pero hindi perfect square, ang nature is irrational and unequal. Kapag ka less than 0 or yung mga negative numbers yung nakuha natin sa discriminant, Ang nature of the root is no real roots. Kailangan nating tandaan itong table na to. Okay? Kasi gagamitin natin to later after nating makuha yung ating discriminant. Let's have our example. Find the nature of the roots using discriminant. Ang ating given is x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. Ito yung ating quadratic equation. Unang gagawin natin is alamin or hanapin natin yung discriminant. Kunin muna natin ang discriminant. At sa pagkuha ng discriminant, ang unang step, write it in standard form. The equation must be in standard form. Ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Yung ating given or yung ating example ay already written in standard form. So no need for us to write it down or transform it into standard form kasi nga, standard form na siya. Ang susunod, number 2, identify the values of A, B, and C. Alamin natin yung A, B, and C ng ating equation pag nasa standard form. After that, number 3, substitute the values in the formula B squared minus 4AC. Again, ito yung formula natin, B squared minus 4AC. Okay, identify na natin yung values ng A, B, and C. Ang ating A is equal to 1. Ang ating B naman ay equal to negative 8. At ang C natin is equal to 16. Substitute the values in our formula. B squared minus 4AC. Madali lang naman tandaan yung ating formula, right? So, substitute na natin. B is negative 8 squared, okay? And then minus 4. So, yung 4 nasa formula na natin. Then, yung A. Ano yung value ng A? A is 1. Tapos, yung C natin is 16. 
na substitute na natin yung mga values ng A, B, and C. Now, let's simplify. Let's start with the squared. Yung negative 8 squared, simplify natin. So, negative 8 times negative 8 is 64. Okay? Minus 4. Then, multiply natin itong may mga parentheses. 1 times 16 is 16. After that, I times na natin yung 16 to 4, that is 64. 64 minus 64 is equal to 0. Nakuha na natin yung ating discriminant, and our discriminant is equal to 0. Now, since we already have our discriminant, let's identify the nature of the roots. So, this is our table. Siyempre, equal to zero yung nakuha natin discriminant, right? Therefore, the nature of the roots is real and equal. Therefore, our example number one, the discriminant is zero, and the nature of the roots is real and equal. Okay? Again, pag nakuha yung discriminant, saka pa lang natin makukuha yung or malalaman yung nature, nature ng ating roots. Let's have our second example. 4x squared is equal to 9. Unang step, we have to find the discriminant. And to find out the discriminant, we need to write our equation in standard form. Do you think standard form yung ating given? Yes, it's not standard form. So we must make this equation equal to zero. We will add or subtract, rather, subtract negative 9 to both sides of our equation. And it will become 4x squared minus 9 is equal to zero. Maging equal to zero na siya. And since we have our equation in standard form, we can now identify the values of a, b, and c. A is 4, B is 0. Kasi wala naman tayong linear term or yung may X. Wala, right? So, put 0 as B and C is negative 9. After getting the values of A, B, and C, we will substitute this in our formula, B squared minus 4AC. B is 0, so we put 0 squared minus 4 times our A is 4, our C is negative 9. Then, simplify natin yung may squared, so 0 squared is 0. Then, 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. Then, simplify natin. Negative 4 times negative 36 is equal to 144. Again, negative 4 times negative 36 is positive 144. Our discriminant is 144. Ayan. So, saan siya kaya babagsak dito? Okay, nandito siya, ba? Kasi positive numbers yung nakuha natin. So, alin sa dalawa dito yung... Um, discriminant natin. So, 144 is a perfect square. Therefore, ito yung pipiliin natin. Ang nature niya, rational and unequal. Review lang natin yung perfect square pala. Yung perfect square kasi, the product of a rational number multiplied by itself. So, ito yung um, product or sagot Kapag minultiply yung isang number sa sarili niya. Ito yung ating example chart of perfect squares. 1 to 30. Ayan, yung 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Ayan, 1, 21. Ayan, itong mga to. Ito yung mga tinatawag nating perfect square. Okay? Pag tinimes kasi natin yung isang number sa sarili niya, ayan yung magiging sagot. Yung mga perfect square na tinatawag. Ngayon, yung 144 na nakuha natin sa ating discriminant, andito siya sa 12. Kasi ba 12 times 12, 144. Kaya, yung 144 is considered as perfect square. At dahil perfect square siya, dun siya magpo-fall sa pangalawa, ba Greater than 0 or positive number siya. Tapos perfect square pa. 
Kaya, ang magiging uh, nature ng ating roots is this, rational and unequal. Positive numbers yung nakuha nyo at hindi perfect square, irrational and unequal. Okay? So again, let's sum up. To find the discriminant, we need to write our equation in standard form. Then identify the values of A, B, and C. And we can substitute the values in our formula, B squared minus 4AC. And then once we get our discriminant, we can now identify or describe the nature of our roots. And we need to remember this table. If our discriminant is equal to 0, real and equal. Pag greater than 0 or positive number, pero perfect square, ang ilalagay natin, rational and unequal. Pero pag not perfect square, pero positive number, say for example, 5, 6, 24, irrational and unequal. At ito naman, pagka negative or less than zero, pag negative yung nakuha nating discriminant, ang nature ng ating root ay ito, no real roots. So itong apat na to, na table, o apat na nandito sa table natin, ito yung dapat nating tandaan in solving or in describing or identifying the nature of our roots. Diba madali lang? Next time, um, we will find out how to get the sum and product of the roots. So, see you again next time. Bye-bye!